What is up YouTube? Welcome to the new video. So to start this video off, I'm going to be hitting the gym and giving you guys a shoulder and a core workout. But before the actual workout, I'm supposed to be working out at three o'clock with Coach Pierce. Until then, it's 2.20 right now. I'm gonna go into the gym and get some cardio in before the workout. One, just because I wanna get my heart rate going, and two, because I do need to start throwing a little more cardio in to my workouts, just to help with some more fat loss to get ready for my physique show. So. That's what we got going on right now. Afterwards, figure out what I gotta eat because of course you gotta replenish. You're breaking down the muscles in the workout. You gotta replenish them by building them back up with some protein, some fat, and some carbs. Not a lot of fat though, and not a lot of carbs, a lot of protein. But excited to get this workout in. Excited to get another workout in with Coach Pierce. Dylan might be joining us too. Depends on what uh, or when he gets back. If he's not back in time, he will not be joining us, but I will most likely be hanging out with him later tonight. So, got some stuff going on. I'm excited for this video. So, give the video a thumbs up if you guys enjoy it. If you guys see anything you like, video, like in the video, give it a thumbs up. And I hope you guys enjoy this workout. I'll talk to you guys after.
up YouTube. So finished up the workout. I was there from about 2.20 to about 4.45ish. So obviously I was there for a little while, but it's because I did 35 minutes of cardio before I even did the workout. Uh, again, as you guys saw, did shoulders and core. That little core routine I do at the end is um, four sets and you just superset them back and forth with about a minute rest in between. So for me and Coach Pierce, or Coach Pierce and I, we, um, and when I went, he was resting, and when he went, that was my rest time. So overall, really good workouts. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Just got home and I was gonna cook up some food and realized that we didn't have any 96.4 lean ground beef. So I'm heading over to Publix right now to pick that up. Um, and then I'm gonna head back and cook up some of that for my in-between lunch and dinner. This really is my lunch but um, it is kind of close to dinner time. It's 5.20 right now, but I've only had one meal today and a protein bar in between my cardio and workout. So, gonna go get this food and bring it back to the house so I can grub on a good meal. So what I ended up getting was the lean ground beef. I usually try to find 96.4, could only find 93.7, so that's the best I could do there. Still good, and I can fit it in today. And then I also got this Velveeta mac and cheese. Now you might be thinking that's not the best thing for me, but it fits in my macros today. So I'm going to make this up and then talk to you guys after. Someday you'll look back and you'll see Good morning guys, so it is the following day and today I'm going to be hitting another chest and tricep workout right now because I got that shot in my knee almost two weeks ago. Um, I'm not able to do as much leg stuff as I would like to. I'm just really waiting until I get to physical therapy to do that kind of stuff. But, um, or that, so that's the reason why I'm on the split that I am. I'm doing chest tries, back by shoulders, core, and then repeating. There's no leg day in that right now, which kind of sucks, but I'll get back to doing legs soon. But today, what I'm doing, again, is a chest and tricep workout, but I will be working out at Lifetime Fitness with a guy named Austin Emery. Uh, I, don't, I don't really know him that well. I just seen him working out at LA Fitness a few times. We've hit each other up on Instagram. He, he kind of has a fitness page. Uh, I have my fitness page, obviously, and we're going to collab today. Excited about this. Probably going to go back and forth on exercises to give you guys a pretty unique workout. So... Stay tuned for this. I'll get some information from him. I'll let you guys know about him after. Apparently, I think he might have served. I'm not positive, but we'll see. Uh, but yeah, excited to work out with him. So stay tuned for these clips, and I'll talk to you guys afterwards. What is up, YouTube? Welcome to another workout commentary. So I thought that I would just kind of walk you guys through this workout and also talk to you guys about the guy that I worked out with, Austin Emery. Um, got to just get a really good workout in with him doing chest and tries. And we started off, as you guys can see, with incline. Pretty excited about this incline for me at least because I got to get up to 185 pounds for five reps, which is the most that I've ever done. And you guys will see that in a second. As you can see right here though, we're pushing each other to the limit, guys. Um, I always talk about working out with a partner because working out with a partner, they can push you and get you those few extra reps because when you get those few extra reps, that is where muscle growth happens. Can't emphasize that enough. Uh, watched Arnold's uh, Pumping Iron movie, and uh, he talks about that consistently throughout that movie, and that's just, it's so true, and that's why having a partner helps so much, um, and working out with him in this workout, Austin, we both pushed each other way past that limit, so pretty stoked about that, but as you can see right here, working with 185, this was my last set, and I get up and get five reps, guys, I am super excited about this. Um, I had a pretty good amount of rest time between this set and the one before, so I think that helped out, but overall super stoked about that. 
So we did, uh, he picked, or I picked exercise, he picked exercise. And so I picked the incline barbell. He picked this one. Really like doing this. Uh, I did 25, three sets of 25. I do the first 20 slow right here. And then when I get to the 20th rep until I get to 25, I pump them out pretty quick. Got a nice pump going, as you can see, guys. And you look closely. I do have some veins coming in on my chest, and I'm pretty happy about that. Overall, I am happy where my body is, especially because I have about five weeks from today till my physique show. So, again, guys, just my volume is crazy right now. I'm doing four to five sets with about 10 to 15 reps, just really getting in some good volume to help get the muscle tone that I need for this physique show. So moved on to a dumbbell bench press right here. Again, do not I am not doing a barbell bench press because I don't want to risk injury in my shoulder. Um, but I do enjoy doing dumbbell and I can really I can push some pretty decent weight on this, but because it's our third exercise, have a good pump going, get fatigue, not able to do as much as I normally do. But excuse me. I uh, go up to, in just a second, you're going to see, I go up to 90 pounds right here. So, I mean, if this was the starting movement, I could probably get up to 100, 105 pound dumbbells for reps. But this is my last set right here. So this is a fourth set. I'm not really sure what reps I get, um, but pretty happy about pushing this weight out as for as many reps as I did. And I'm focusing on when I get to the top. I'm stopping for about a second to really squeeze that chest to get it even more fatigued than it already is. Um, just squeezing is the biggest part of getting that good contraction in the muscle. That's why like, if I'm working out with Alden, he gets kind of frustrated because sometimes he's working out and I start tapping the muscle we're working. But that's just to get you to emphasize, you know, this is what you're working right now. Really focus on that muscle. So for a chest movement like that, if somebody's behind you tapping on your chest, when you get to the top of that movement, you're really going to focus on squeezing, and that's going to help get that full contraction. Moved on to this. He picked this one, and I actually really liked it. Uh, doing a side fly. We did two sets of this to really focus. Oh, my gosh, guys, I'm exhausted. I'm sorry. To really focus on getting that inner chest. You see my striations coming in. And the ridges in my chest muscles are super stoked about that too, guys. I'm just so happy with everything that's going on right now when it comes to my fitness. Um, and then we, so we did two sets with the side, and then we ended up doing two sets with uh, just a normal fly. And on the last set, we do a drop set just to really kill the chest because this is the last chest exercise that we did. Um, I was also at Lifetime Fitness for this workout, guys. And this brings back memories because my first ever workout video was made in this gym with Brandon Onishak and Garen Terrell. So shout out to them. They both videoed for me and it's just it was funny. I realized that probably just getting to the end of that chest workout. I was like, oh my gosh, like this is where it all started. So it's kind of cool to think back to that where I was with two, three subscribers at the time and now I'm at like 368, 369. So just it's cool to think back to just the whole process of what I'm going through with this whole YouTube channel and fitness stuff. But moved on to this tricep exercise, I'm doing overhead rope extension, which you can see Austin in the right side of the um, video doing that. And we superset it with just a easy bar, tri straight, not straight bar, easy bar tricep extension. I'm doing four sets of each of about 10 to 12 reps. It got pretty freaking hard too. We started off to fatigue that muscle. That's where the growth again, guys, is going to happen. Um, and I actually did really enjoy this superset. We did two supersets um, with four different tricep movements. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm so sorry. With four different tricep movements total. Um, and we're about to finish up right here. And we're going to move on to a easy bar nose breaker. And we actually superset that with a double arm tricep kickback. Normally I just do single arm. But recently, I kind of like doing the double arm, especially because for this, we did three sets of failure on each. And so the three sets of failure with the uh, tricep kickback, you can kind of use some momentum to push the weight back and get a few extra reps. Um, I kind of use more momentum than he did. You're going to see right here, he's going. He's really strict with the motion, and that's great. I mean, he's getting some good work in those triceps, squeezing at the top, which is awesome. Uh, for me, the clip you're about to see after you see him do the nose breakers, uh, I'm really fatigued. It was the last set for that movement for me. And so I think I got up to about 20, 25 reps, and I just get really fatigued. And so I start using that momentum. Right now I'm more stiff, but in a second you're going to see that I start really moving my body just to push out those extra reps. Because, again, 
that is where the growth happens. Push past that point, guys. You're going to reach a limit where you're like, oh my gosh, I can't get any more. You have to push to get two or three more reps because that's where growth will happen. So check out my uh, post-workout meal. This is technically my breakfast too. All I had this morning before the workout was uh, a packet of oatmeal. So this isn't my breakfast of the day. I got two English muffins, a cup of egg whites, three-fourths cup of diced ham, 96% fat-free, and three-fourths cup of turkey sausage crumbles, 60% fat-free. So overall, really good breakfast. I'm going to enjoy this. And I'm also just going to end the video here because I gave you guys those two workouts. I got work today, so nothing really going on. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe, and stay tuned for the next one.